In the exploration of ancient civilizations, Graham Hancock and Randall Carlson discussed the groundbreaking discovery of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, challenging conventional views on the origins of civilization. They propose a radical idea of a lost civilization predating known history, drawing connections to global myths and cataclysmic events, including the mysterious date of 11,600 years ago. Just watch. You know, that, has, that was the view really for decades, that, there, that civilization began about 6,000 years ago. And before that, there was no such thing as civilization. And they say that the first big megalithic structures were created by societies that were already agricultural societies. So they were generating surpluses, which allowed specialists to have the time to learn how to be architects and engineers and builders. But then suddenly out of the blue, and we've got an episode on this in the series, comes Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which is 11,600 years old. It's, it's 5,000 years old than the supposed oldest megalithic structures. And it's a fucking enormous megalithic structure, probably the biggest megalithic structure on earth because so much of it is still underground, although we we know what's there because of ground, ground penetrating radar. Highly sophisticated, 20 ton pillars, beautiful astronomical alignments, buried, deliberately buried by the people who created. They ran it for about a thousand years and, and then they deliberately buried it. And archaeology is still struggling to explain this. They've now had to say, well, okay, uh, somehow megalithic architecture began thousands of years before we thought it began how are we going to how are we going to explain this and 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 they have to accept this is one of the mysteries of gobekli tepe that uh, the archaeologist does show this quite clearly that when the work began on gobekli tepe 11600 years ago the entire population there were hunter gatherers they were not agriculturalists generating those supposed surpluses that would allow experts in, archeo in, in architecture to emerge. They were hunter-gatherers. And how in God's name do a group of hunter-gatherers wake up one morning and create something like this, this, this enormous scale? And then the mystery deepens, because at the same time that they're building the megalithic site, they're also suddenly doing agriculture. And I look at that as a contrarian. And I say, I actually don't think that this was something that was just dreamed up overnight by a group of hunter-gatherers. I think I'm looking at a transfer of technology. I think people came to that site who already knew how to do this stuff. And maybe they used that site to mobilize the local population, to push them into a new direction. And that was truly the beginnings of civilization as we know it. But I think it was a restarting of civilization, a reboot, not the actual beginnings. I think there was an earlier lost civilization. And that's the, the, the whole point of the, of the show well, I've made. <clears throat> Why don't you mention about that particular date, 11,600? Well, it's incredibly important. It's an incredibly important day because the Younger Dryas begins 12,800 years ago with a cataclysm, with a puzzling, mysterious rise in sea level at the same point. Thousand years of freezing temperatures, mass extinctions of animal species all over the world. And then 11,600 years ago, global temperature shoots up the last of the ice caps collapse into the sea. Sea level rises enormously. That is the date that work starts at Gobekli Tepe, and that is a point I've made many times, but it's really worth making because archaeologists roll their eyes every time you say the word Atlantis. But that is precisely the date that Plato, which is the earliest surviving reference to Atlantis, that's precisely the date he gives for the destruction of Atlantis, 11,600 years before our time. He puts it this way, that his ancestor Solon visited Egypt. And we know about that visit. It's historically recorded. That visit to Egypt was in 600 BC. And there Solon claimed to have been told by Egyptian priests about this great advanced civilization that once existed, but that angered the gods and was destroyed in an enormous flood. And Solon asked those Egyptian priests, when did this happen? And they said, oh, 9,000 years ago. Well, do the math. That's in 600 BC. That's 9,000 years before 600 BC. We call that 9,600 BC. That's 11,600 years ago. That's exactly the date of the end of the Younger Dryas. And it's exactly the date of what is called Meltwater Pulse 1b, one of the biggest single rises overnight in sea level that ever occurred. So if Plato made it up, it's really weird that he picked a date that is precisely a date that coincides with the latest geological evidence on cataclysmic sea level rise at the end of the Ice Age. Subscribe for more historical content.